and welcome to the Brushless Slot Car Revolution. My name is Martin, and I'm here to show you today how to convert a Talon 25 ESC from Castle Creations to a brushless slot car motor controller. I own the intellectual property that allows the integration of brushless technology into a slot car, and I'm here to share it with the world. A little history about myself. I've been building and flying aircraft since I was about 14 years old. About 10 years ago, I started building unmanned aerial systems. About six years ago, I became a commercial UAS pilot. Along my journey, I watched technology change. I watched the glow motors, gas motors, brush motors with nickel and cadmium batteries all fade away because of the brushless technology. The brushless technology is the wave of the future. And in 2014, I saw that. And I developed the ability to integrate brushless motors into a slot car. Unfortunately, the track where I was testing the brushless technology went out of business. So I mothballed the project until 2017. That's when someone reached out to find out if I had actually developed a way to integrate brushless technology into a slot car. The gentleman who reached out to me, his name is Tom. Tom and I have continued since 2017 to develop this technology to this point. The development's gone well. We've used it in drag cars, we've used it in wing cars, we've used it in GTP cars, we've used it in retro cars, all successful. At this point, I bet you're asking, why would somebody give away the most important advancement in slot car racing history? That's easy. If we don't do something soon, all the people that we see at the track nowadays are going to age out. And I don't see new faces coming in to replace us. So we need to do something to revitalize this hobby. Otherwise, in 10 to 20 years, it won't be there. Well, that's enough chit-chatting. First, I'll show you what an ESC looks like before you update the firmware, and then I'll show you a video of how it functions after the firmware has been updated to the brushless slot car motor controller software. Let's get at it. This is a Talon 25 ESC in its original configuration. I'll apply power to it, so you can see how it normally functions. The ESC will not provide power to the motor because it's still awaiting the pulse width modulation signal through the wire. Now I'll show you exactly what it does when you convert it to a brushless slot car motor controller. This Talon 25 has been converted to the brushless slot car motor controller firmware. You can see now that it applies direct power to the motor and doesn't require pulse width modulation input. This tutorial is going to show you how to convert a Talon 25 ESC into a brushless slot car motor controller. You're going to need a Talon 25 ESC from Castle Creations. You're going to need Castle Link data connector from Castle Creations. This will allow you to um, communicate with the uh, processor inside the uh, ESC, update the firmware to the brushless slot car motor controller software, and also allow you to change the settings once it's uh, set up and you can modify the performance. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the web and we're going to go to uh, Castle Creations. All you have to do is type in Castle Link into Google and it should bring up the, one of the first, uh, first selections should be uh, CastleCreations.com. Look for this blue icon right here. And so we'll click on the link. It's going to bring it up and this is download the Castle Link software. This is version 3.82.00. So we'll click on that. It's already started downloading. When it's done downloading, we're going to open when done. Do we want it to allow? Uh, do we want to allow it to make changes? We do. So we'll click yes. It's going to start the uh, installation process. We're going to click next. We're going to agree. We're going to next. We're going to allow CSV files. We're going to click Next. Yes, we want it there on our hard drive. Next. And we want a link on our desktop and one on our Start menu. So there's Yes. And then we start the install. So 
So we want to launch Castle Link. All right, so we'll close this because we don't need that anymore. We'll drag this over into full view. Now, this ESC, as it is right now, uh, has the ability to change all kinds of parameters in it, but right now it still requires a radio control function to make it work. So we're going to plug it in and I'll show you what that function looks like. So you take your ESC out of the package and this is the, uh, the data collection line right here. This is normally used by radio control systems so that you can control the amount of uh, throttle that comes out of this and it also is the data link that allows you uh, to connect this to the, um, to the software and alter it. The brown wire is the ground wire, the red wire is the positive, and the orange line is the data line. And you'll see those designations on this. So we're going to plug it in. It's going to recognize that it's there, like so. And now you can see that they have the throttle control, they have brakes, it has voltage cutoffs, motors, uh, uh, motor parameters, and other stuff, and then software, and then it's got save and print. So these are not helpful right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close, uh, close this because this is still the original configuration of an ESC, and this is not going to help us. So you can't put this in a car in this state and have it actually run a, a brushless slot car. So we're going to close this. And now, you'll need to go to uh, Brushless Slot Car Racing, the YouTube channel, to download the a link uh, so you can download the software. Well, the software, when you get it, will look a lot like this. Uh, you'll get a, a folder that shows up um, that says Brushless Slot Car Motor Controller. It's in a zip file. And then when you open the zip file, you'll see... Uh, Castle Link update files, you'll see a Talon 25 quick auto start full function revision 2 and then you'll see the document file. This document file is what came with it when it was created um, back in 2014. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up the uh, the Talon 25 uh, auto start full throttle. So what this does is this is actually um, the updater for the firmware. So this little gear right here, the little green gear, if you double click on that, it'll bring up the software. Here's the software. And now it's automatically updating my Talon 25 because it's connected. And so it's on step two right now. And so it's, it's communicating with it. It's wiped it out and now it's uh, copying the new firmware on. And it's verifying. And now it's success. So now completely, this has now turned into a uh, brushless slot car motor controller. It is no longer an ESC. And that's how quick it was. Now, so we're going to disconnect it at this point. And I'm going to close this because you can't run these two programs at the same time. So now we're going to open Castle Link again, and now you're going to see something new. All right, so Castle Link right now is going to be expecting to see a, uh, a regular ESC, but now it's a brushless slot car motor controller. So we're going to hook it back up. Now it auto detects this, so I'm going to hook it back up. And now you're going to see that this it's not going to recognize it. It says the device connected is either not a Castle Creation controller or may have software on it that is newer than the software loaded on your computer. Please remove the Castle Link program from your computer and install the newest version from the downloads page off of the website. Now, what this is doing is it, it doesn't recognize the software uh, from the the update that was just done. Now I'm going to show you how to fix that. So we see that it has an error message. It's saying, nope, I don't recognize this controller, but this is a Castle Creation controller. It just has different software on it. So I'm going to show you how to convert the software uh, to the software that will work. So we're going to click this off. 
I'm going to click this off. Now, we're going to go into the brushless slot car motor controller file again, and we're going to go into Castle Link Update Files. When you open this file, you're going to see all kinds of crazy files in here. The only thing you need to do is you need to do a select all like this, right click, and we go down and we're going to copy. We're going to copy all these files. Now, we've got these files saved on our clipboard. So we're going to find out where the Castle Link files were actually put. So we're going to right click. We're going to go down to Open File Location. It's going to show us all the files. And over here off to the right, we're going to right click. And we're going to click Paste. And it's going to ask us, says this destination already contains a folder named Driver? Well, it contains 15 other folders that have the same name. So we're going to click Do This for the next 15 items. And we're going to click Yes. And then we're going to click Do This for the next 32 conflicts because it's still copying the same name files into the, into the same folder. And we're going to click Copy and Replace. And it says you'll need to provide administrator permission. You click Continue. And now it's installing new files. So now it's installed the same files that we just copied out of the brushless slot car motor controller files into the new software from Castle Creations. And so we'll go ahead and close this now. And then we're going to open Castle Link again. And we're going to say yes. Now the message has changed. Now it says firmware update disabled. This version of Castle Link will no longer allow firmware updates for the connected controller. Please visit Castle Creation Downloads blah, 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 for the latest version of Castle Link. You click OK and then we're going to drag this over and you can see now that we now have all of the functions on our brushless slot car motor controller where you can get into the throttle section, which I'm going to recommend that this, depending on what you're doing, if you're doing drag racing, this should be at 10. If you're doing road course stuff, it should be closer to 2. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead. We're going to set it up like we're going to go to a road course. So I'm going to set it up so it has super low uh, power on the bottom end because you'll find that these have too much power. You're going to leave it at 2 for the custom response, and that's normally about... 20% of the power when it first comes on. Go to the cutoff section. You need to change the voltage cutoff in here to auto lipo. Go to the section here and drop this down to three volts. And then we're going to go to motor. And the motor, the power start, I leave power start at about, uh, about 15 to 20% for these because it needs uh, this is the initial spool up for just a little bit of power to get it rolling. This makes it so that it's super dead on the end. Uh, I would suggest changing the uh, pulse width modulation rate to 16. Uh, and then your timing, you can bump that up just a little bit to 6. Uh, but really, this is, this is just preliminary stuff. You don't really need to do that. But how you do that is you go to the motor timing, go to custom, and then you can adjust it. Uh, and then you update. Click update, and I'll watch. I'll show you what it does right here. As soon as you click update, you'll see it flicker. It just flickered, and now it's done. And that's as that's as easy as it is. So you now have a a brushless slot car motor controller that can can be controlled by your normal rheostat controller. If you're going to do uh, drag racing with this, I would go back and go to the throttle, and I would give this. Uh, 10 because that's 100% throttle. As far as the motor, I would give it uh, at least 100% power right off the start. You can leave the timing at that and definitely leave it at about 16, uh, 16 kilohertz on the pulse width modulation. But that's pretty much it. It also offers the ability if you want to save this function for something, you can, uh, like if you, if you want to use this one for uh, a brushless uh, dragster one day and then you want to take it out and put it into a road course you can go into the save and print section you can say uh, save current settings to file and that way you can save these settings and just update it and when you want to load them 
you click load settings from file you go in there you load the you select the file that you want to uh, load from and then once it's loaded all you have to do is click update while it's connected and you're done so this will allow you some versatility on what you do with your Talon 25 once you've turned it into a brushless slot car motor controller. I hope this helps.